It is finally here, Notepad++ application level dark mode with version 8. Hello everyone, this is Amit. Today we are going to look at the fresh out of press Notepad++ version 8 features. It finally has the dark mode at the application level and new icons and much more. So let's get started. So here I have a version 8 of Notepad++ just installed. Uh, as you can see, is version 8 Notepad++ and finally it has a dark mode. Uh, if you have been following Notepad++, you know that you can change the theme of Notepad++ to different dark themes, but the application level dark mode was not available until now. But that is finally there. So let's look at different features of this Notepad++ version 8. And so the very first thing we will try to change is change it into a dark mode. So in order to do that, you need to go to settings, go to preference. And finally, you can see there is a dark mode settings here and you can enable the dark mode. So let's go ahead and enable this. And look at that. It looks pretty neat. In fact, if you notice, as I change it to dark mode, it automatically change the theme. Also, as you can see, the, the style of these has changed. So let's take a look at it. So go to settings, go to style configurator and you can see that when we change it to dark mode it also changed the theme to dark mode theme default which is this dark background now there's another one that they have added called visual studio 2019 dark and let's change that and this looks incredible uh, this is a visual studio theme in notepad plus plus you can see that i have opened uh, several different type of files a c file and html and then a JavaScript and even some Python. And it looks incredible uh, with this Visual Studio 2017 dark theme. Now, you might notice that even the dark mode is enabled why these title bar are still white, right? And so the reason is that windows need to be in a dark mode in order to change that. And so in order to change the windows level to dark mode, you just go to start menu and search for dark mode. And usually you need to go to color settings and then choose your color from light to dark okay and that will change your entire uh, windows environment into a dark mode now if you already have a dark mode set then you don't have to worry about that but if we go back to our notepad plus plus application it is still showing this white and the reason is it needs to be restarted so i'm going to restart this <coughs> and now you can see it is in a nice dark mode including the title bar so the very first thing that they have added is a dark mode. It looks neat and uh, it, it's, a, it's a great addition to a long held request from many developers. Let's go to the next part. The next part is you may have already noticed the, the different icons. So the old icons are, are gone or at least it's not set by default and there are these new fluent icon. So let's change that. Go to settings, go to preferences. And if you go to general right here on the top, uh, general bar, you can see that they have a new uh, toolbars. So if you like the old one, you can still go back to the old one, but with the dark mode, it doesn't look as good. And so you can change to fluent UI or fluent large, if you like a large icons, or these are the ones that are not filled in, in these icons. So you can change it to filled fluent icons, and it's uh, filled with, with uh, shade and so on, or you can make it large. Now, there is a definitely uh, a little bit of getting used to these icons. Uh, I've been using Notepad++ for many years and I'm used to all those icons. And so it took me a little bit of time, but, but before you change it back to the, the default setting of the old one, uh, just take a little bit of time uh, because it really builds on you and a little bit you will get used to these icon, which looks way better than the old one. And so it's up to you, it's uh, your own personal choice. You can always go back to the original one but if you spend a little bit of time in this, I'm sure you will get used to that. While you guys are here, let me take just a moment to, to share about my channel. I post new videos about Notepad++ and many other uh, text editor, HTML and other things. Uh, so make sure you check my channel, uh, check the playlist that I have created and, and the videos. And if you like the content, make sure to like or subscribe to my channel. And make sure that you click on the bell icon to get notified as I post new videos every week. Now let's go back to our video. So that is the second major feature in Notepad++ version 8, and that is the new Fluent icon, which are nice and clean icons. 
the other feature they have added is a distraction free mode so if you go to view and if you go to distraction free mode it is like uh, you know some of these uh, writers that have a distraction free mode where you can totally focus on uh, your content without getting distracted by any other things so they have implemented that and it, uh, i have i don't use this but for those who are using it to write like a blog post or certain things that you don't want to get distracted by anything else you can easily use this and it looks nice and clean especially with the dark mode it looks really nice if you want to go back you just click this plus sign and it'll take takes you back to the regular way the other thing that they also added is uh, reverse line order so let's say you have a you know a list of lines and you want to completely change the order to reverse you can go to edit go to line operations and now they have added this reverse line order so everything will be reversed now it looks weird but imagine you have a list of numbers and you want to reverse it in fact let's go to change log and let's copy these and let's change the order of this so i'll go to edit go to line operations and reverse line order and you can see it's starting from 10 9 8 onwards and so that is another addition which is really neat and then you can read the the release notes or change log there are there are a number of bug fixes and new additions to to notepad plus plus version 8 which are really handy uh, for example they have these support for ada or fortran and some of the other languages uh, for the function list they have also added a number of things uh, regarding the search entries even the python function list there was a bug fix and so on and so you can read through these uh, release notes to learn more about uh, this version 8 in notepad plus plus but we just basically looked into the major update that is the dark mode and the new new icons so i hope you guys like this video this was mainly notepad plus plus version 8 main features uh, we we mainly looked into uh, the dark mode and the new icons and some of the other features that they have added which which looks really neat so make sure that you update to your notepad plus plus and start using this dark mode if you like this video please click on the like button if you have any comments please add in a comment section and if you like these kind of content please subscribe to my channel i post new videos about notepad plus plus and just a general programming uh, every week and so make sure that you subscribe to my channel all right thank you bye